Hello, today I'll show you my take on the Mighty Micros line with Poison Ivy. Bricomotion. The minifigure gets short green legs, an original Poison Ivy torso, and the hair from Superhero High. I wanted to give her the hair from the Batman movie, but it's so long that Poison Ivy doesn't fit in the car while wearing it. As a weapon, I'm giving her a flower of her own choosing. I'm pretty confident it's not a real weapon. Psst, oh my eyes! I'll be fine. The car itself is my personal favorite of all of my Mighty Micros to date. I just love the overall shape and I feel the color combo just works. In the front, we have a biodegradable grill slash plow, headlights and an innocent looking flower. I'm convinced this one's not poisonous or anything. Psst. The interior features a yellow steering wheel and a wooden headrest. The sides are decorated with wines that can be used to block other drivers as weapons or as a brush. Every gorgeous hair needs love and care. In the back we can see taillights and what a special car this is, for it runs on flower power. That also means it's alive and can recognize its driver and it loves poison ivy. So it'll start for no one else but her. And I mean no one. The God of Thunder commands you to start moving. <clears throat> but we can try to figure its secret out by deconstructing it. The vines come off easily, so do the headlights and the whole front section. The flower rests on a jumper and the other pieces are various slopes. There goes the steering wheel. Now you can see how I attach the tail lights to the green Mighty Micro base. Only the back flower power left. are all Poison Ivy Mighty Micro pieces in one place. I bet Black Widow's car would listen to me. Wonder if she would let me borrow it. No. Bye-bye. <sighs>